Hello traders, share the title of the video is the power of the common sense a trend line. So if you are a subscriber to any of our channel, you will have noticed that uh, I've been talking about the common sense trend line in many videos. In this tutorial, I want to reveal to you the power of the common sense a trend line okay i'm on the monthly chart one more time all right so i have drawn my common sense trend line the common sense trend line is a trend line that we draw very close to the price you see how i draw it here it's very very close to the price i can draw another trend a common sense trend line here very close and you can see it's not easy here uh, it's quite close like this all right Another common center line I can draw here is this one here. This is a common center line, very close to the price. The substitute, the technical substitute for the common center line is the moving average 8. Now, you can quote me anywhere, anytime, okay, for that. The technical substitute for the common sense trend line is the moving average eight all right normally i should be charging you okay millions of dollars for sharing uh, that information with you today that the substitute technical indicator for the common sense trend line is the moving average eight now talking about the power of the common sense trend line Whenever we draw the common central line and the common central line is broken, I usually use the German word kaput, the gate to our German friends. All right, it's kaput, it's broken, means that it's kaput in German. So, when the common central line is kaput, the next question that you must ask is what has caused okay, uh, the price to? To break the common sense trend line anytime the common sense trend line is broken ask yourself what has caused the common sense trend line uh, to be broken so now that we are in monthly chart we have drawn that pink uh, common sense trend line all right you can see that the price is now a little bit above it now. So that tendency bar here is closed. That's the month of June. It's closed. It brought it to the edge of that common center line. It breaks above it a little bit. All right. That's the month of June. That tendency bar that is breaking the common center line should be closed. And then we ask the question, what has caused okay, the common center line? Okay. To be broken all right so the question to you now looking at these charts okay the what has caused this uh, okay buy to stock uh, biogen I'm in fact I'm looking at biogen epic uh, biogen incorporated epic uh, B I I B Bravo India India Bravo this is an American stock all right so the next question is what has caused okay uh, the common center line to be broken all right looking at this chart what has caused that uh, common center line to be broken or to be kaput as i like to put it to traders is because the price has formed a double bottom chart pattern which is a validation of support level but this is a double bottom chart pattern with a higher low so we have a double bottom chart pattern with a higher low that has caused the common center line to be kaput. So a bullish all right, chart pattern has caused the common center line to be kaput. I will share with you a tips and tricks about uh, okay, the common center line. You can note it down if you want to. If you see a double top and a common center line is kaput, you want to give you want to give priority to bearish signal. When you see a double bottom chart pattern and a common center line is kaput, you want to give priority to bullish signal. Okay, note it down, please. All right. 
So here we have a bullet chart pattern that has caused the at a common center line to be coupled. We can substitute that common center line with a moving average 8. Now game on. Now that is closed here, this is our trading setup. Did you say trading signal? No, no, no. It's not a trading signal here. This is the trading setup. Now because I'm on a monthly chart, I'll go to the daily chart if I want to swing trade looking for the signal. So that monthly candlestick bar, I was telling you it's the month of June, has closed right here. So if I if I place a vertical line there, it's on the 30th. If you look at this, keep your eyes here, keep watching this session, then I'm going to place my uh, can you see uh, Friday oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Friday 6 30 17. The sixth represents the month of June. The sixth month and 30th is the end of June and 17 is uh, 2017. So this is where that monthly candlestick bar has closed. That's nice. Look what has happened on the on the signal time frame. That monthly candlestick bar has caused the price to break above, okay, <laughs> the, 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 the common center line and also to retest it and it closed right here. We will not try to buy. The signal is not ready until that monthly candlestick bar is closed right here. Look at the following day. So now that you see it breaks above that common set line, it retests it here. Now we are here because that monthly candlestick bar must close. The following day, look what's happened. The price opened here, went up to this level, and then close here. We have a do, uh, okay, an inverted uh, doji. Look at that. This is today. Uh, today. All right, July the fifth. If you keep watching this session here, this is today. So the signal was fire. So this is the signal here, breakable retest. You see this doji here, that's your signal there. Now you go to the hourly time frame. You want to swing trade and to enter the trade. All right. So where are we? Uh, hold on, please, traders. All right, so the, the, the third of... Uh, July, let's go there on the on the hourly time frame. Yeah, this day here, on this day, the price you can see here on the you can see the tree here. That's the third. That's the third of July. The price on the hourly time frame. Look what the price did. The price again. Look on the hourly time frame. We have a double bottom again, which is. A fractal pattern in this case because on a monthly chart we see a double bottom with a higher low this this double bottom is a fractal pattern because we have on a monthly chart a double bottom with a higher low here it is it copy itself and paste it itself on the hourly time frame trader who understand the predictive fractal pattern trading will enter here on the hourly time frame if you do not well, this is your entry right there. All right, it breaks a ball, removing over 14, and can't try to retest it here. All right, that's your entry there. The retest we see here, you open here, pull back here. As you see, it start going up. You want to join them before it's too late. This is your entry right there on the hourly time frame. If you do not want to enter on the hourly time frame, I'm going to color that line now into red. You will pay attention to that red trend line. You will go to the 10 minute time frame. After it pull back like this, you say, well, let's go to the 10 minute time frame. And look on the 10 minute time frame, you see that red trend line? You will enter right here. That's it. All right. You see the power of the common central line? So I say to you, the common central line, all right, is the trend line that we draw very close to the price. So I can draw one here, that is, on a 10 minute time frame. That's my common central line. If you see a double top or a double bottom chart pattern, and the common central line is kaput, so suppose you are here, you are scalping, you see this is a double top here. All right. 
and this common center, this one here, is kaput. You want to give priority to bear signal. But the best approach to use this strategy, we are using the common central line to find a high probability trading setup. So it's better to go to a higher time frame to use the common central line, all right? Double top, common central line is kaput. We have a bearish trading setup, all right? Then we implement a different time frame trading method. As I was showing you here on the monthly chart, we see that we have a double bottom chart pattern, okay, with a higher low. Now the price is closing, close above the common center line. We have a bullish trading setup, and we go to the signal time frame, which is the hourly time frame, waiting for the clear cut signal, which occur right here, and then we enter the train on the hourly time frame. And if we do not want to enter the train on the hourly time frame, we will enter the train on the 10 minute time frame. We will apply this strategy on any time frame, all right? So this is about the power of the common sense trailer, all right? Very, very <laughs> powerful. And we can substitute the common sense line with what? The moving average each. So this is again, it's again a common sense line, very close to the prime. See this one here? On the four hour time frame, color it now into red. That's a common set and it's kaput. Right breaks above it. Oh la 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 la, look at this one. All right, so you will go to the 15 minute time frame, waiting for the signal, and you will enter the trade either on the three minute or five minute time frame. You see here, I see this candle kind of bar because it's very long candle kind of bar. This one that is breaking above it. Because it's a very, if it's a long candle kind of bar, I talked about this before. We highlight it high. Okay. <laughs> the low. I'm laughing because uh, a lot of traders get into trouble very often when they see the long candle kind of bar. You want to master it and know how to handle it. You highlight the high, the low, and the media line. So you want to buy near the media line, waiting for a pullback. But as that pullback was taking place, it crashed through it. But the good news, after crashing through it, he formed again a double bottom chart pattern. What are you waiting for? You can wait for this common central line to be kaput, and you can implement your top down trading method here. And here it is on the forward time frame. You see now? So that I was telling you, double if you were here, double bottom, common central line is kaput, candles by is closed, nicely this one is closed on the four-hour time frame, and then you implement a top-down trading method to trade it. A double top, common central line is kaput, use okay, a top-down trading method. So this one here is a double top on the on the uh, four-hour time frame, common central line is kaput, implement a top-down trading method. You can see that this one was not easy. Choo -choo 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 -choo. You may say, George, your method is not working, it's not working, it's not working. And then here it is, boom, down. <laughs> All right? Again, we have again another double top. This top and this top from the double top is tricky one here because there's a hole here. The price did gap up. It's just running down. So double top, common set line is kaput. Implement a top down trading method to trade it. Double bottom, common set line is kaput. Implement a top down trading method to trade it. This is about the power of the common sense a trend line which we can replace with the moving average eight. If you have any question or suggestion, put in a comment section and in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about the power of the common sense a trend. If you find this video truly, truly useful, Feel free to let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think that, George, you have not done a good job today, let us know by giving us the thumbs down. But if you think that, George, you have done a very good job today and I like the video, feel free all right, uh, to share it with your friend on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. 
We are the TSTW24 traders talking about the power of the common sense a trend line. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.